Hi boys and girls, welcome back to the Steak and Brush. I'm Christine and today it's the beginning of the month so that means it's time for empties, favorites, and fails. Um, again, another month with not a whole lot of... Um, I have a whole drawer full of stuff that is new and I'm testing um, and you know I just kind of want to you know really test it out before I say it's a favorite or fail um, with the exception of one thing and you'll see that um, but you know wanted to just kind of let you know what I have found this month um, so let's start with the empties. Um, the first two things, actually I just used yesterday. Um, they're both samples. A lot of this stuff is samples in here right now. Um, you know, I've been doing a lot of shopping at Sephora online with their sale, so I'm getting tons of samples. And I tried both of these yesterday. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and the Lancome Advanced Genifique. Now, again, they were one use only, so I can't give a really great in-depth thing, um, but I can say yesterday when I put the magic cream on, it seemed okay, um, but it kind of smelled old lady-ish. <laughs> so I wasn't that thrilled with that, and I thought, oh, well, great, I dodged a bullet. This is very expensive. I don't want to fall in love with it. And I use this with my nighttime skincare. I woke up this morning and my face felt so much better than it has in a long time and these were the only two things that I used that were different. So <laughs> I don't know which one it was or if it was a combination and I don't have another sample of them to check and see to use them on a one you know, just a you know, one day basis to see which one it was that did that. So I don't know what it, maybe I can get some more samples. I don't know if I want to pull the plug on either of these. They're so expensive, but that's the conundrum I'm in right now. Um, I went through a uh, my V. This is the facial moisturizing lotion, the AM. This is what I use for my sunscreen in the morning. Um, it's SPF 30. Um, it's, you know, I can use enough of it that I'm getting my the full amount to get that full SPF 30. Um, I do really like this. It is a little on the thicker side. So if you're looking for something really thin, this is not it. But, you know, it's like $13 or $14. It's pretty cheap. It lasts a good amount of time. Um, yeah, so I like it. Um, I have two um, moisturizer samples in here. And these were the kind of samples that you could get quite a bit of use out of. Um, the first one was the Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. Um, this was okay. This was nothing to write home about for me. Um, it was very thick, and if you like a thick moisturizer, especially for nighttime, you'd probably like this. It did a little bit of the pilling stuff, so it's definitely not great. It wouldn't be great for in the morning under makeup, um, but if you don't mind that, that would probably be okay. Um, the Kiehl's Serum Infused Water Cream. I really, really liked this. Um, except for the fact that it smells like lemon pledge <laughs> and I don't like lemons and I don't really like the scent um, it did really turn me on to the fact that I think I really want to switch over to a for nighttime I want to switch over to a gel or water cream moisturizer something that the last two moisturizers I tried out you know they were they were fine but they did that pilling thing which at night is not you know a big thing it just annoyed me so that's kind of steered me in the direction of something I'm looking for and uh, my last thing here is my Curology again went through another month of that and I won't give this up any time soon I actually might contact them soon to see if we can do a little bump up in the Tretinoin all right <clears throat> favorites fails 
let's get into it. Like I said, I don't have a whole lot of stuff in here. Uh, my first favorite is actually a dollar. It is the AOA Studio, what is this? Wonder Cover Concealer, I believe this is a natural. My nephew did a, um, uh, a mystery bag for me. He put together, you know, dollar makeup from shopmissa.com. And this was the concealer he picked out. Now, this color is way too dark for just under eye for me. Even though I haven't been doing the brightening so much, I've been going more for my natural color, that's still too dark. What I have found that this is terrific for, and I'm not using it today because I'm testing out a different concealer. Um, this is great for this area right here, down here, where I just want to do a little color correcting. Um, it's really good. <laughs> and again, it's a dollar. So yay for that. Uh, another fave, I got this in a, a subscription box. So it's a sample size of it, but it is the Urban Decay 24 seven eye pencil eyeliner. This one is in zero. It's, it's a black eyeliner, but it is gorgeous. It doesn't smudge. I can use it for upper and lower. Um, Urban Decay has a great, great formula for these. So if you're willing to pay the full $22 for it or, you know, find them on sale, these are really, really great and they have them in tons and tons of colors. Um, next thing I actually dig out because I wore it today. I haven't had this this long, but the Fenty Cream Bronzer. I have used this every day since I've got it. I got it in the color Macchiato and I love it. I, this is the first cream concealer, or I'm sorry, this is the first cream bronzer I have ever used, but it just blends so well. I think it looks really, really nice. This was for, I believe, light medium <clears throat> this time of year. I'm, there's actually two other colors that I'm thinking of getting. Um, one was, I believe it's the lightest in the series, and I don't remember what the color is. I saw Rob Beauty Christie testing it, but it looked, it was a, it was a cool tone. So I thought I might get that just to use as some contour right through here and um, in my neck area. Um, and I thought I might go up one color darker um, because if this does well for me in the spring, I think during the summer, I would want another color. I know these are $30, $32, so they're not cheap. But this is, I really, really love this. If you have the money to spend, or if you can find it on sale, or have some points somewhere, you know, this is terrific, really terrific stuff. And to go with that, I did pick out one of the cream blushes. I got this one in Strawberry Drip. I have been really, really loving the um, cream blushes. Now, some people complained about this because it was, they said it was so expensive and so tiny. Now, yes, compared to the bronzer, it's tiny. This is also $32, this is $20. Yes, this is still expensive, but you're gonna go through bronzer a lot faster than you're gonna go through a cream blush. And I mean, maybe it's, I, I think a lot of it is people are just looking at the packaging sizes between the, these two, but this is the same size or just roughly as, um, like the Natasha Denona minis. And um, it is actually, let me get my, this is three grams and this is 4.2 grams. So it's not like, I mean, granted this, yes, this is much cheaper. This was like 10 bucks, but it's ColourPop. And Fenty's a, you know, it's a more prestige brand. But this is not so much tinier than other blushes. Um, you know, maybe it's just, you know, I know other blushes are bigger. 
you know, ha sometimes are bigger, like the Milani Luminoso. This is 3.5 grams. It's, you know, just a half a gram bigger than this. This is not like a tiny, it's not like a sample size or anything. So I don't know why people are quite so upset about it. Um, yeah, you're going to be paying more money for Fenty. That's how it goes. <laughs> um, but I don't think they're ripping you off or anything by the size. Um, speaking of the Natasha Denona minis, I don't think I put these in my last video. If I did, I'm sorry. I thought I tried, um, since I had just gotten them that I didn't want to, you know, just go into it. But the Natasha Denona... This is the Mini Bloom Highlighting Blush, and it's exactly what it says. You, when you put this on, you don't need a highlighter with it. It's beautiful. Um, you know, it's light, and you can kind of build it up. So you can just kind of barely see it there, but it has a nice, pretty shine to it, and it builds up very nicely, very easily. Cute little tin to it. Guess it's $19. It's Natasha Denona. Of course it's going to own $19. I'm actually kind of thinking, wow, that's cheap for, <laughs> for her. Um, and to go with it, the Natasha Denona, this is the Mini Retro Palette. I did do a video on both of these products already. Um, you know, for $25, you get to, you know, sample her formulas. If you're into these kind of colors, I think it's a, you know, it's a good way to get into, you know, to try them out. Oh, I didn't drop it. Ah! Um, if you're not and you're looking to try out some of her products, she has several of these mini palettes that are $25. And she actually has one that's always at Sephora that apparently they must have made a billion of them and nobody wants it. It's the mini Leela palette. It's $12.50. Um, so if you're into purples, they've got a cranberry one, they've got gold, they've got all kinds of, you know, little ones that are really cute to try out. So I would highly recommend, if you have the funds, to do that. Um, is that everything I have? Well, let me get, I, I, okay, I have a couple negatives that I'm going to go through. This is the one I was talking about earlier. I got, the, I tried this yesterday. I got it two days ago. I opened it once to, to swatch it and once to put it on. I will never put this on my face again. Uh, yeah, I bought several products from the Revlon Wonder Woman line and I actually really liked some of the, you know, more than I thought I would, especially the palette. Uh, I want to play around with it more before I, you know, give more than a first impression. But this stuff, it, it looks like it's going to be one of the cute little, like, uh, jelly highlighters or something. It is not. It is like va gold-colored Vaseline in a tub with Wonder Woman on it, which I love Wonder Woman, and that's why I bought it. Um, I put it on. You can't see the gold, really. You just see, you get a, it looks wet, which, you know, that's okay. I didn't have a problem with that but it never dried down at all. Not only did it never dry down, it stayed sticky. And like every time you touch your face, which I guess maybe it's a deterrent right now to remind you not to touch your face, but it was gross. And you know, for somebody like me who takes a lot of naps, <laughs> I didn't take a nap yesterday when I wore it, but it would have been a horrible mess. Um, and just when I realized how much it was really annoying me, I got, I, I took a wipe, a, you know, a makeup wipe, and I tried to swipe it off, and it took like three, four, five swipes, and it still felt like it was on there. It was gross. I, I would, I won't, I don't want to pass this along to anybody. I am going to somehow scrape this out in the garbage, clean this out, and use the tub for something else because, again, I love Wonder Woman, but I will never put this stuff on my face again because it's gross. Um, this, I got in some PR, um, and I, I reviewed it on Amazon, but I'm, I'm not really going to go into it on here. It is Nyx Dare. Um, it is a set that has three mini... Um, 
three mini matte lip it says matte lip glosses they're just matte lipsticks and three eyeshadows or you know liquid eyeshadows these aren't bad the lipsticks are not bad i probably may hang on to those I, i'll probably see how close they are to some other things in my collection but the you know so that those aren't a fail those are just they're okay um, these are really not worth much at all. Um, again, unless you were just getting into makeup, you were, you know, maybe for a tween or something like this, that, but it doesn't really stay, um, for very long. It transfers pretty, pretty easily between the lids and they never really get very opaque. Um, it seems just very patchy, so I would never wear those again. So that's a little bit of a mixed bag there. I guess the next thing is kind of a mixed bag as well. Um, my This lash video just went up yesterday. This magnetic eyeliner eyelash suit. I'm, I'm just reading what it says there. Um, the eyelashes themselves are beautiful um i really really like them uh, the bands are a little thick for me but this eyeliner if i can get it out the magnetic part you know that that goes into it is absolute crap not that it doesn't stick that's not the problem first of all this brush end for an eyeliner. I mean, I know it looks small, but that's huge for an eyeliner brush. It takes forever for it to dry down. It says a minute. It is never, it never is, you know, just a minute. It takes forever. Then when I put it on, because the it's so big, I it gets all in my eyelashes, like the tips of my eyelashes. I wear liquid eyeliner all the time. I'm wearing it today. It's a wet and wild. I have never gotten it in my eyelashes, even when I first started using it. And so it's messy there. Gets in my eyelashes, it transfers everywhere. Like I said, it takes forever for it to dry down. And even when it's dried down enough to put the lashes on, I still find black gunk everywhere throughout the day. I don't know how it's spreading. I, you know, I'll find it underneath my fingernails, on the tips of my fingers, underneath my eyes. It's just, this is crap. So what I would probably do is I will probably save the eyelashes and I will try another brand of magnetic eyeliner. Um, if anybody has a good recommendation of one, um, like I've, I've heard several of them out there the, but you have to put like, you know, it, the instructions say to put three coats of eyeliner on it. I don't want to put three coats of eyeliner. That's too much. That's you know, cakey and unnecessary. I also don't want to pay like the, the $90 for the, you know, for it. That's not worth it for me either because I don't really have a problem with eyelash glue. So worst case scenario, if I can't get it to work, I'll see if I can just glue them on. Uh, my last favorite was actually from um, my Ofra mystery bag that I had about two weeks ago. And it is this highlighter in Soho. Now, you know, if you've been around for a while, you know that Ofra has, their formula for highlighters is terrific. Um, as far as powder highlighters go, there are a few that I think that are better, that, you know, or on par with this. Um, I was a little worried when I first opened it up that it might be too dark for me. Um, and it's still like right now, maybe a little dark for me, but I don't think so. It's, it's a, like a pinky peach shift, which I think will work really, really well in the summer. So I'm very excited to use that more then. Actually, I'm going to throw something else in here. It came with it. It was in the Ofra mystery bag and it's the actual bag that it came in. This is such a cute bag. Um, I mean, it is this faux leather, but it's very sturdy. It's very cute. 
you know, it's a pretty decent size. I mean, you could fit quite a bit of makeup in there. <laughs> and I have to say, out of all, like, you know, when Ipsy sends things in bags, they can kind of be cute, but they're never, like, this kind of quality. I'm really impressed by that. <laughs> And I've never really been impressed by the bags that I'm th th that come with the mystery parts. All right, so that were um, that was my empties, favorites, and fails for the month of April. Please let me know what you liked in the month of April that you tried out so that I can try it out too. Or let me know what to stay away from. Um, I really like hearing from you so that I know kind of where to, where to look for stuff. So thank you so, so much for being with me today. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and I can't wait to see you on the next video. Bye-bye.